high side tonight seem to be bread and butter. Yeah, I just, uh, you know, I, have, I think I had a little better tire than Brandon had there, so I just was just trying to get him scrambling a little bit, you know, so I could find a different line. So it worked out, you know, he had to start moving around. His tire was giving up. I know you guys don't think about this stuff. Only your second win with the World of Outlaws, but it was three years ago in Tennessee at Tazewell. So it seems like every time we come to your state, you end up going to Victory Lane. So we got a couple more. I got a feeling you might be visiting. <laughs> yeah, I love racing with the World of Outlaws. You know, I don't get to do it a lot, but when they come to Tennessee or sometimes, I venture out and go racing with with the World of Outlaws, but awesome group of guys to race with and an awesome officiating. Just the whole deal, Craftsman, you know, really got behind that deal big. So it's fun to get to go race at a, at a top level like this. Well, Ronnie Delk's going to be happy. I know you, Stace, and the whole crew are smiling. It's always good to be in victory lane, but this seems to be one of your racetracks. Bob worked the track. It took a little while, but I think it paid off. Oh, yeah, man. He, he had awesome racetrack tonight. He had awesome racetrack tonight, and, uh, you know, just uh, they got out there and, and uh, you know, I think they might have even change their mind on what they're going to do. They started to move the tires, then they got out and done some other things with the track. But, man, I tell you, he, he got her. Thank you. He got her going really good there. Good racetrack. Welcome back to Victory Lane, buddy. Thank you. Just like to say, you know, I'd like to say thanks to my guys, my wife, Stacy, and Ronnie Delk, our car owner. Uh, Josh and Jerry here, these guys drove all night last night, ain't slept. Uh, you know, they just couldn't do it without these guys. Just want to get want them guys to make sure they know that. Ladies and gentlemen, his second ever World of Outlaws win, the Winfield Warrior, Mike Marler. A little bit better, bit better uh, results than last night. However, I know you want, you want to win, but we can't win every race. But if we win a championship, that is what it's going to be all about, and that's what you're going after. So these top threes, they're going to pay off. Oh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy with, the, with our finish, but... Um... I just I know in my head that I I probably gave that race up. Uh, Mikey did a really good job and just uh, you know he, he he outdid me there basically. You know uh, I just I stayed in the same line and he kind of knew where I probably exactly where I was going to go and just uh, used it to his advantage and and uh, got under me going down the front stretch here and you know that's my fault. I should have I should have known it was time to start moving around a little bit. I, I could feel the middle starting to give up on me there, but. Um, you know, my crew guy was telling me I had a pretty decent lead there for a little while, and then after that restart, I messed up getting into one, and he just took advantage of it, and, you know, he did a good job. But, you know, overall, uh, pretty happy with with second place tonight. I've never been here before. Uh, so, it's, you know, I want to thank all the fans for coming out, thank all my sponsors, and uh, thank Mark Richards and Steve Baker and everybody with uh, Rocket Chassis for giving me the opportunity to drive this car. First ever visit to Ducktona and you get a top three, yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, you know, like I said, the, the track's uh, super fun to race on and, um, you know, maybe if I had a little more experience, I would have known to move around a little bit there, but, you know, congrats to Mikey, like I said, good job to Rick and, uh, you know, looking forward to coming back here next year. I had a lot of fun. Good job, Shep. Thank you. Things are getting better. You keep moving up in the finishing order. Another win any day now. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, we made some strides there tonight for sure uh, in our qualifying program. I just didn't work on my car enough for the race there. I, I guess I went brain dead. I thought the racetrack was going to stay a lot more traction. and the race, They did a great job with the racetrack. And I thank all these fans coming out on Mother's Day. Uh, thank you guys for coming out. And uh, Hey, next week's another week. Good job, Mikey. And uh, we'll just keep making strides. This thing's early. We're going to win another one. Let's say happy Mother's Day to Crystal back home, too. Yeah, happy Mother's Day to her <laughs> and Courtney. And Courtney, exactly right. Congratulations, Scrub.